Welcome to Frame Dropped. To be honest with you guys, I wanted to do something else for this video, but Red Dead Redemption 2 hooked me so much that it's really all that I've been playing since it came out. And I really want to talk about the game, so let's just do that. Where do I even start? I was never really interested in Red Dead Redemption, so I didn't play the first one on its release, but only many years later, and I enjoyed it. But it wasn't one of the games that truly blew me away and belonged to my all-time favorite games, although I thought it was a really good game. I also enjoyed other Rockstar games and appreciate how polished they usually are, and I still play GTA Online occasionally. But when Red Dead Redemption 2 was announced, I wasn't as excited as everyone else seemed to be. I'd rather have a new GTA, I thought. One of the reasons was that I don't particularly dig the Old West setting, to be honest. But I gave it a try nonetheless. So this show is called What to Expect. Worst show ever. And regardless of not knowing whether I would truly like the game, I expected a lot. It is a Rockstar game. They worked on it for 8 years, and it was the first game to be specifically built for this console generation. I expected the game to get high reviews, I even expected it to maybe be a technical milestone in gaming history, as many other Rockstar games were before, but my expectations were even surpassed, by far. And to take it away, I don't know if this game will become my personal favorite game of all time, although I'm sure it's in the top 10, but it is, honestly, the best game that I have ever played up to this point, and I've played many games. I know that's an incredibly bold statement, and it wasn't easy to say these words to you, but it is, and let me tell you why. Before I do though, note that I'm just reflecting my own personal opinion. Believe it or not, there are people out there who do not like Red Dead Redemption 2, and I'll briefly talk about some of their valid reasons in a bit. Every piece of art that you absolutely adore, be it books, films, music, games or something else, has some people behind it that simply do not like it. That's the way it is and that's actually a good thing. Again, I'm talking about my opinion and I think that this game is absolutely phenomenal. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a prequel to the first one. Yes, I know, call Rockstar's marketing department and yell at them. So you do not have to play the first game in order to understand this one, but it can enhance your experience quite a bit. You play as Arthur Morgan, a member of a gang in a fictional part of the American Wild West in 1899, and you start off with having to hide from the law in the north, after a heist went wrong. As expected from Rockstar, the story is solid, the characters feel real and the performances are on point. The main missions are always something to look forward to and no two missions are alike. That's all that I will say about the story, because you should really experience it for yourself and I did my best to hide everything in the footage that can be spoilers, even environmental ones like the city of Saint-Denis. You should really check that out for yourself. Red Dead Redemption 2 feels like a game that should have come out in 5 years, but somehow even runs on a launch PS4 and runs in native 4K on a Xbox One X. The footage you see here is captured from a PS4 Pro and it looks unreal. I can't yet capture in 4K and HDR, but the HDR especially makes the game look even better. Graphics wise, a game like Uncharted 4 probably has a bit more finesse in details such as facial animations, but the differences are subtle and this game is massive. How massive? Well for starters, if you buy the physical copy it comes on two discs. The map is absolutely huge. In addition to the main part of Red Dead Redemption 1's map, it features a new area that is probably at least three times as big. If you make a waypoint between two towns that seem relatively close, it can take forever to get there, even if you don't take it slow. And it features various environments, from snowy mountains, to green plains, to lush forests, to foggy swamps, to some others I don't want to show you if you haven't played the game. It's a lot and the world isn't empty. There are 178 different animals that can be studied and hunted, that all have different behaviors, a huge amount of plants that can be used in crafting, a realistic weather and daytime system, and a colorful spectrum of random events and NPCs that bring this world to life and make it organic in the way that I at least haven't seen before. Oh, shit. 
When you ride into town it feels alive. Every NPC has his own life and character, and everything reacts to your behavior. You can interact with everyone, be kind or be an asshole, try to defuse a situation if someone didn't like your attitude. Who in the Sam Hill are you? What was that, you son of a bitch? You need help buttoning your lip? Alright, don't get all worked up. And if you do a lot of bad stuff, people will treat you differently than if you are mostly kind. If you kill some people in a town and return later, people will remember and treat you with less respect. IGN does a pretty good job on emphasizing this in the review and I've linked it in the comments below because it's worth to check out even if you don't like IGN. If you just play the story, it should allegedly take you around 60 to 70 hours to complete. I have played the game for about that amount of time and I'm still at just about 40% into the story. The reason for this is that I always get distracted with side activities and stuff to do. And that's a good thing. Many other open world games use side activities as a means to prolong the playtime. And most of the time they are not too bad but can get quite boring and grindy. And you have to do them because the game kind of demands of you to do them. With Red Dead Redemption 2 it's completely different. There are a shit ton of different activities that I won't talk about because we don't have that much time and you probably know what I'm talking about if you played other Rockstar games. But they all feel different and except for maybe trying them out once, the game doesn't force you to do any of them. But you'll do them anyways because they are good. But what makes this game so good and what I mean by distraction from the main story is this. If you only have one simple goal, let's say you want to ride into town to buy some supplies, you will come across something that grabs your attention. Maybe it's an abandoned house in the distance, or you come across some animal that you want to hunt, or a stranger needs help. There's always something interesting to see and you can always decide how to approach the situation and what to do. And no two encounters are the same. What I'm trying to say is that every journey, even if it's just from A to B without a specific goal in mind, becomes an adventure. And for a game to do that on that level is absolutely fucking spectacular. I've always felt that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game where you definitely don't want your little sister to use your save file, because it can cause permanent damage. That's because everything has consequences and the world reacts to your actions and yes, you can't just go all GTA rampage in a town, die and expect everything to be the way it was before. So I was super careful not to do anything wrong at first, but that's not the way you have to play. As I said, this is a game where everything has consequences. Kill a guy and if another guy sees you, he might go to the police. So you have to stop and threaten or kill that guy if you don't want to get a bounty on your head. If you don't hide or dispose the bodies, they'll stay there. And when someone comes along and sees them, that person might report it to the police. But if you're already gone, the police won't know what you look like. When hunting animals, you can factor in the direction of the wind because it carries your scent. If you kill an animal, you'll want to get a clean kill with the right weapon, because if the animal struggles, the pelt will have a lower quality. You have to manually skin the animals and you can only transport what you can carry. If you leave it there or take too long to the butcher, it will start to rot. Your horse needs to be fed and brushed, you also need to eat and you and your horse can get underweight or overweight depending on the amount and nutritional value of the food you eat. You need to change your clothes depending on the weather, your hair and facial hair grow in real time and if you get dirty you might want to consider taking a bath from time to time, otherwise people will react to you differently or even refuse to serve you in extreme cases. <gasps> and that's only just a fraction of the organic game mechanics, really. Hell, this is a game where even horse testicles shrink if it's cold outside, okay? And I get that this can be overwhelming. And many people that don't like the game criticize this and I totally understand that. You'll need a while to get used to the controls and take everything in. If you're a casual gamer that just wants to play for 10 minutes before going to work, maybe Call of Duty is more for you. But you don't need to be afraid of breaking the game and you don't need to factor every mechanic in. Just like in real life, everything has consequences but you don't need to absolutely factor everything in while doing anything. But you can if you really want to because it is there. Some people also complain about the traversal and stuff like weapon degradation because they feel it's tedious. And I also get that. I mean, who likes weapon degradation? But I think that it fits perfectly into this game. You just have to clean your weapon and it's as good as new. 
I like that you need to brush your horse and cut your hair from time to time. It slows the pace down a bit and I appreciate that. But in my opinion, it's never tedious. It's not like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas where you might get hungry during a mission and quickly need to eat something before you die. You need to do certain things from time to time, but when the time comes you want to do them and you think, hmm, maybe I should upgrade my weapons or maybe I should take a bath. Red Dead Redemption 2 is a game where you should take your time, sit down, shut the blinds and crank up the sound. And what I like most is to just explore the world and take everything in slowly. And that's the beauty behind it. When you slowly ride through the forest, you can sometimes almost smell it. And one last example. A couple of days ago I found out that you can drive the train by yourself. Well, guess what I did for the next hour and a half. What do you think? Do you also think that Red Dead Redemption 2 is a masterpiece? If not, tell us what you dislike in the comments and we can discuss it. Please leave a like and subscribe to this channel if you enjoyed this video. We release a new one every week. See you next time!